Hi students, in the previous class we have studied about different types of nutrition that is autotropic and heterotropic nutrition and how photosynthesis in plants is an example for autotropic nutrition. Today we will be learning to identify the presence of chlorophyll in plants and also about other important elements of autotropic nutrition. Let's recall the process of photosynthesis in plants. Carbon dioxide and water combine with the help of chlorophyll in presence of sunlight to form carbohydrates that is starch and oxygen. Can plants perform photosynthesis without sunlight? No. Plants cannot perform photosynthesis without sunlight. Let's learn the theory of a simple iodine test to prove that photosynthesis cannot take place without sunlight. What is an iodine test? Iodine is a yellow or orange solution. Iodine solution turns bluish black in the presence of starch. Two potted plants were used for this activity. One plant was kept in a dark room without sunlight for three days while the other plant was kept in the presence of sunlight. After three days, one leaf was removed from each plant. Both leaves were boiled in alcohol to remove the green pigment of the chlorophyll, as colorless leaf is easier to stain with iodine. Then, the leaves are left in a dish containing few drops of iodine. The leaf in presence of sunlight turned bluish black in color while the leaf of the plant left in the dark room does not show any color change. So, the iodine test proves that sunlight is essential for photosynthesis in plants. Can red or yellow leaves contain chlorophyll? Can they perform photosynthesis? Large amount of red, yellow and other pigments mask the green pigment present in such leaves. Leaves other than green also have chlorophyll. So photosynthesis takes place in different colored leaves. Are plants the only autotrophs? Algae is a diverse group of photosynthetic organisms. They are commonly found as slimy green patches in ponds or in stagnant water bodies. Algae are generally green in color because they contain chlorophyll. So, algae can also perform photosynthesis and prepare their own food like plants. Can plants survive only on the carbohydrates prepared during photosynthesis? Will it need proteins and fats? Carbohydrates are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Proteins are made up of nitrogen. How does a plant obtain nitrogen and synthesize protein? Though nitrogen is present in air, plants cannot use it directly. The rhizobium bacteria present in soil helps convert the nitrogen in air into usable form and fixes the nitrogen in the soil. The soluble form of nitrogen in soil fixed by rhizobium bacteria is observed by plants along with water and it is used to synthesize protein and fats.